In today's digital world, you can handle your banking, shopping, bills, and even secure a mortgage all on your mobile device. This is very convenient, but also opens doors to cyber criminals. As technology evolves, so do their techniques. It's important to identify the main methods of attack to help keep you and your identity safe online. From online banking to shopping to accessing your workplace's network, your login information is the virtual key to operating online and managing your life on the go. It is also the key for criminals to access your accounts from anywhere, anytime, and quite often without you having any clue until it is too late. How do they gain access to that login information? It is called password cracking. Almost all online services and computer networks utilize password protected access to prevent outside parties from accessing sensitive information. Password cracking tools are becoming increasingly powerful and accessible, making it easier than ever to crack passwords. The first line of defense is awareness of the techniques cyber criminals use to crack passwords. Some of the most effective password cracking came simply from looking at a note someone had taped to their computer. Other attempts at password cracking are more refined. Quite often, we use common words as our password. Hackers simply guess common passwords until one works. Other hackers will deploy automated software to generate a large number of consecutive guesses, called a brute force attack. Cyber criminals also use phishing techniques, which simply trick you into giving them your login credentials. These phishing attempts appear to be a legitimate email from a trusted source that leads to a spoofed website where you can enter in your credentials for them to simply grab and use. Next, let's discuss what effects having your password cracked may bring. Password cracking is a pretty straightforward threat, and the technology to do so is widely available. The main focus of the attack is to procure your login credentials to fraudulently gain entry into a network steal your sensitive information, or simply to shop on your dime. Now let's discuss how you can protect yourself from password cracking. A solid password security policy involves building strong passwords. Password length matters more than complexity. Many passwords using 12 characters or more are well protected. A common technique is to use a passphrase instead of a password, such as, I love ice cream. Consider using a variation of capital and lowercase characters. Also, replacing a few of the letters with a number or special character, such as changing the I in ice to an exclamation point, and E in cream to a three, can add yet another layer of security. Never write passwords down. Also, you never want to use the same password to access different sites or network systems. The reason being is, if a hacker does get one of your passwords, they don't get access to all of your digital life. If you have a hard time tracking all your passwords, consider using a password manager. Most organizations you do business with have established a policy that they will never ask for your login information. If someone contacts you via email or phone asking for such, Assume it is a phishing attempt and never reveal the information. Lastly, when online, ensure the websites you visit are legitimate and secure. Double check the URL is correct and encrypted, meaning it will read HTTPS as opposed to HTTP in the web address. Education is the first line of defense against cybercrime. Better understanding the risks and a little caution can protect you and your valuable data.